Have you been up on that road? We made it to our first dispersed camping spot. Walking on over for our, our little yoga lesson. Make sure you take the, go over to the overlook, the Land of Lakes overlook. Yep. That's gorgeous. All right, so this morning, Richard's gonna finish his coffee. I'm gonna try my best to stay out of it and make a quick breakfast, tear this beast down, load it onto everything onto the cart to lug it out to our motorcycles and hit the road. And then hit the road and head to Cedar Ridge and up to the Grand Mesa. Yep, we'll see you there. We just went into this city market. city market, realized it was lunchtime, and we're like, hey, how about some fried chicken? So we're sitting here eating fried chicken and macaroni salad and... Mom's got a pie. And pie. <laughs> I mean, isn't... You can't get much more American than that, right? <laughs> In a parking lot. up here 100 and it turns back so if we go off of 100 and find water and a camp spot we we take it yeah yeah we're just gonna pull up our big girl panties and do it gotta be it well it's warmer out in the sun yeah so maybe we want that yeah but where's the water and there's a lakey lake over there you make a water run Richard's off for another quest looking for a campground. There is a really nice little camp spot over there by those trees. Okay. Let's do it. The water's over here. Yep, it is. That's what we got. That's what we got. So when you go down this road here, you're going to go down the hill and there's water. Uh huh. You're gonna need to stay to the outside, go around it. Okay. Then it gets really bumpy. Okay. okay just pay attention. Just the bike will take it. Okay? okay. And then we get into this camp spot, and it's it's a little piece of paradise. Okay. But that's our water. All right. We'll have to hike for water. We'll have to. We'll we'll make it work. And we have 3G coverage in that camp spot. Oh, nice, sweet, beautiful setting. Oh, I'm excited. I could go for a hike. We are officially dispersed camping. So just be confident on your on your bike. Okay. Okay. I am confident. Yes. I am woman, hear me roar. That's right. Just be confident, take it into the you, your bike has way better traction than mine, so if I'm making it, you're making it. So stay stay with me in the tracks, okay? Okay. Cause it gets kinda weird. And there's, gets really bumpy. So there's okay. a little stream that goes, feeds in right here. Okay. So you're going to take it kind of wide. My trailer okay. is going to go in the water. Got it. Okay. And then you're going to take it to this outside. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. See? And then we'll go this way. 
Okay. All right, here we go. Now this is bumpy. Okay. And you're going to stay in the, just go through these rocks and get around this corner and you'll be on a flat spot. You'll be like, oh shit, this is easy. Piece of cake, got it. Don't look at the rocks, Chris. Don't look at the rocks. Look around the rocks. Yep. Oh my gosh. So we made it to our first dispersed camping spot. It's uh, off of 100. Off the, of? The Lands End Observatory? Yes. Yes. And off then, of that road about what, three then or four off, miles? And then off of another road. Yeah. And we almost gave up and went to the, one of the campgrounds that they have here, who we persevered. Question for you. Have you been up on that road? I just thought I'd ask before I, <laughs> before I bail off into there, you know, with this. <laughs> We'll go back there a little way, see if we can turn around. All right, cheers, man, thanks. Richie, do you want to pull your bike off here and hop on mine and, and go down there? Yeah, I can do that. Anything? No. Okay. It's just a series of switchbacks. Okay, well, it looks like it's got kind of a switchback. But it's right up here. It should be the next forest road. Okay. Should we pull over and do the same thing? You hop on my bike? Yeah, yeah. It is to the right, but there's a trailhead here. Okay. And this spring, we should. Was that it right there? No, I don't think so. I hope was... not. We couldn't have done that one. <laughs> no, it's up around the corner here. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, that was it. Oh, well, that looked gnarly. Was it? Looked at the way at the front and it looked somewhat gnarly. It was kind of funny. <laughs> You're like, I nope. Like, I was like, oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, well, the next one is in those parks. Or, you know, I don't know if it's. What it is. Well, the one that goes right by this big lake. There's a big old lake. Maybe we can sit lakeside. Okay. You know? Right, huh? It's gorgeous. <laughs> now I hope we can just find a campsite. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully not freeze to death. Yeah. <laughs> you looking for a campsite? Uh -huh. Yeah. Just a dis dispersed campsite? Yes. We yeah, just, that would be great. Yeah, we just pulled in, um, uh, we just came back up here, but um, we took um, 100, which is Land of Lakes Observatory. That's yeah. That's another one. We've got to go on back down to near uh, County Line uh, Trailhead, but it's Side of it. So anyway. keep keep going down this road. Yeah. Okay. To Landa Lakes. We checked elevation. <laughs> we checked elevation. I don't want to know. La 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 la. <laughs> and we're over ten thousand feet now. <sighs> My ears are popping. We have cell service, but water's a little further away. We're gonna have to cart three and a half gallons at a time of water. We'll have to discuss how we're going to do that. We will work it out. Yeah. We will persevere. I don't know if you can see it but way over there on the other side not the RV but the truck and the camper and then behind that camper is like a portable yurt and a 
fantastic person that we met. That's one of the things I love being on the road is meeting all these neat, cool people. Anyway, his name is Scott. He's a three-year vagabond out of New York, traveling around, and he does yoga. So as soon as Richard gets back from doing an ice and water run, we're going to go over and we're going to have our first yoga lesson at 10,000 feet on a flat top mountain in Colorado. I think that's so cool. I'm sorry. It's just so awesome. It's such a beautiful surrounding. You see all these things about people doing yoga uh, on the beach? Well, that's okay, but then everybody's watching you and you look all goofy and all those weird poses and whatever else is there. But out here where there's nobody on the top of a mountain, yeah, just me and some skeeters. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Walking on over for our little yoga lesson. Look, Mom, I went and took yoga lessons and walked on the two track uphill both ways. Let's see if I can get this on the first strike. So what is that? Cotton balls with um, some Vaseline on them. Today, no, this morning the agenda is, now that we've had our water, no. Now that we've had our tea and coffee. Now that we've had our tea and coffee. Yes. The agenda is to go and get some more water. Foraging for water and wood. Yes. We're survivaling. <laughs> survivaling? Yeah. <laughs> is that a new word? Well, it's like survival, but survivaling. <laughs> okay. We are off for water. For shower and drinking and washing and <laughs> just like everything that you everything you use water for we're yeah. going to get it yeah so walk out to your kitchen flip your little switch and think of us yeah <laughs> okay we're getting closer to camp Whew, that is a trek to get water <laughs> so here's what we learned don't squeeze the bag too hard <laughs> don't squeeze the bag too hard blew out one bag however you can hang these and it fills it up almost as fast as squeezing. So we're just going to go to the no work making drinking water system. That's what we're going to. One trip to the lake yielded this much water and the big blue jug. All filtered, ready to drink. I think we're going to live here. So what are we doing today? We're going for a ride. <laughs> yes, we are. We are going to go to, we're five miles in on Road 100, mm -hmm. and we're going to get back out of our camp area and turn right down 100 and continue down to what's called the Lands End Observatory. And you're supposed to be able to see like Utah, like, like 80 miles away, the mountains in Utah. Right, and right? the whole and the whole valley off the top, because we're on top of a mesa or on top of a plateau. Yes. So we're going to go see the whole valley all the way into Utah. Take it kind of confident, Chris, and you'll be good. Okay. Keep your feet up. I got it. Well, here's the cow camp. Is there a place to turn around? Yeah, there's a. It's all dirt here. Well, everything's dirt, but yeah. <laughs> but it's it's listed as a campground. So they brought cows up here. Yeah, through the during the winter. They, they were fed hay during the winter months, and in the early summer they were herded up the game trails, and later over the roads to the lush grasses on top of the mesa top. Cow punchers stayed with the cattle most of the summer, moving them to better pastures, packing salt oh, to scatter the cows. Oh, so these are summer cabins. <laughs> you see those go down there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, 
look, look at, at that, that along the cliff. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is it. Yes, this is it. This is Land's oh, yeah. End. This is it. We made it to... To Land's End. Land's End Observatory. I guess it's you just observe... Because this, <laughs> where the camera's on right now, you used to have a telescope. Yes. But I guess what I wanted to let people know is you can, if you have a regular street bike, you yep. can get back here. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of cake. There's portions of um, Road 100. 100 that are gravel, but it's great gravel. And it's then great. in portions that are paved. There are there are washboards. So, I mean, let's not yeah. BS about it. It, yeah. it It's it's not the easiest road, yeah. but it's wide. It's, it's plenty of good road to to get on, yes. but the last six miles are paved. Yes. <laughs> and it runs the entire rim. Yes. Oh, and, that's cool. But from here on out, I don't know what to tell you. Otherwise you probably want an adventure bike because to go on those switchbacks down there. <laughs> so definitely an adventure bike. You could zip all over around here. No problem. You cover this whole entire plateau. Yes. Yeah, here's well, here's that Lando Lakes right here. Oh, should we chew it real quick? <laughs> so make sure you take the go over to the overlook, the Land of Lakes overlook. Yep. Park in the parking lot, take the little walk. It is all it's a paved. paved. Yep, paved. You could get a wheelchair here. Yes, in. But awesome. it'd be it'd be a tough push. Just, yes. But you could. Oh, and it's you, beautiful. It's beautiful. You don't want to miss it. Oh my gosh. Grand Mesa. Yes. We're and it's 10,400 feet here, and so it's hard to breathe. Yes, but it, it has been a fantastic time here. I'm sad to go, but I'm ready to hit the road. And Oregon, here we come. Yep. We'll see you there. That's our, that's our goal is Oregon. All right. Yep. Take care. <laughs> see ya. Check this out. Yeah. So when you got your man that wants to sweep out your tent, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep her. <laughs> oh, is that it? You know, you gotta keep her. <laughs> you just know it's gonna get you one of these days on camera. <laughs> Look, I even broke a sweat. <laughs> Our feet stink. Mine don't. <laughs>